Hey guys, Terry with Computer Pro. Just a super quick little demo on this new product we found called Notion, Notion.so. Um, so it's built as something that replaces uh, Google Drive, basically like your docs and spreadsheets. Um, it's kind of direct competition to Evernote. Um, it can, you can use it to, um, if you store passwords and docs and how to's, I guess it could compete with IT glue to, to a certain extent. Although, um, right now security is for passwords is going to be better within a dedicated password manager like LastPass. Um, this does have 2FA and things like that. Um, but I don't believe it encrypts the passwords at rest like IT glue does. Um, but pricing is $8 a month for teams for this guy, which gives you granular access. You can have your team only view certain things and, and only have read access to certain things. So it's, it's really handy. So the super quick demo that I did is let's say you make a, a, a landing page, okay, for your employees. Then you would have, um, certain things you could do a frequently asked questions section. These are my, one of my favorite things. They're, 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 they're toggles, and you can turn anything into a toggle. I can just say, turn into a toggle list and start putting stuff in it. It's extremely handy. Um, so, yeah, you can, you can make these on the fly. Um, everything is kind of either wiki markup or HTML-based, so it's all hyperlinkable, clickable, and everything. Um, so we just made like, like a quick lunch spot nearby. Um, if you click that, it's just going to follow the link. Um, and so it's one of the things that it's supposed to replace or function like is Trello. And Trello is very cool. And how you can do that, so here's a demo of MSP renewals. So let's say you're tracking, let's say you have some six-month MSP deals or something that you they renew on a certain date and you want to track who's expiring soon call people and so forth so once you make these the cool thing about Trello and the, the Kanban boards I believe that they're they're called this concept is when you click on an item they're, they're supposed to represent like an index card so like an index card you can have data on it okay you can you can type whatever data you want on your index card and but you still have the physical card that you can move around Wherever you move the card, it's all that data stays formatted the, the, the same. So where that's handy is, let's say that we're, we're tracking this, so all these guys are, are expiring soon. So I look at the board and I see, okay, I've got three clients expiring soon. And then, you know, I, I look a week later and two of them have expired, okay? So we don't want to pay for agents that aren't bringing us profit back so we see that and we say oh so we, we have to get on these guys well let's say I I call John and I leave him a message but he, he doesn't answer well it's I can I can simply you know I can put the data down left a message on this particular date and I can drag him in the left message column so now at a glance I know that you know we have one person expired um, one person expired that I left a message for. Um, I didn't call this person yet because I don't have them past this point here. So it's it's a really cool way to to uh, track to dos and stuff. This Kanban slash uh, Trello method. It's very 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 cool. Um, you can do the same thing with to dos and so forth. Um, like clean the break room. If I let's say Tech One's not that busy, then I put it on his his plate. I can open it up, I can click here, which would bring up the employees that are that are on your account, and you can just tag the employee, and then that, that'll show up as as their um, with with their name on it. So they can view it by board assigned to me and see which tasks they have assigned to them. And and these are on the fly. So I can add a view, like this whole Kanban board, they're they're all the same, meaning that you know. The, or let me go back to the MSP renewal. So this is one way to view, here's the actual data set. It's like a page of data, okay? I could add comments, resolve comments, um, insert everything from pictures, audio, video, attachments, anything you want. It's like a full functional web designer basically, okay? Um, and so there's the actual data set view. I, 
this is the board or Trello like format, what, which allows me to move things around, very handy. But I can also view it just, you know, in a table that shows everything. So it's the same data set. So I'm still getting to it, but it's just, I, I can tailor the view towards what I want. One handy view, especially for this particular um, board is they have expiration dates. So, or dates that I, sh I should call them. So let's say that this due date is gonna be, um, we'll just say it's a call date, okay? So call date is when I'm supposed to call the customer. So now I get into work, I view it by calendar, and it's the same set of data, but I come in on the 26th and I know all my stuff that I have to call on that day show up in that calendar. So I click on it, I get to the same set of data, but I'm just viewing it as a calendar versus viewing it as a board. So very, 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 very handy. Um, we use it for projects, the same. Most of these we do in board view because it's very handy to move things around, okay? So we have a new, a new project, a wire run and, and a Wi-Fi upgrade at client one. Um, we could throw it in the queue. If it's coming up next, we can throw it in the next up. So we can always, once these fill up, then we can have a good quick glance at this board and we know kind of what's on our plate for the week and what, what we can expect. Um, once it's in progress, I just drop it in here um, and all the properties go, go along with it. Once again, these toggle lists are extremely handy. Those you can make anything a toggle list again um, by a couple different ways. You can you can just say list uh, list of stuff to bring, okay, and then I can turn that into a toggle list. And inside the toggle list, I can type my slash and say I want to use um, I want to put in here. Let's see a to-do list and inside here I'm gonna bring the wire and I'm gonna bring the tools and I'm gonna bring uh, my laser measure and I'm gonna bring ladders and whatever right and it keeps it clean because it's in a toggle list see and the these are actionable of course you can check them off and so forth so it makes your project lists and your cut sheets and everything for the day extremely clean and extremely handy, okay? And once again, that follows you around wherever you go and all the properties follow you around also. So it's a really, really cool way that the possibilities really are endless in how you decide to actually use this. Um, passwords is I don't know if it's something I, I wouldn't openly recommend it, I guess, on here. It's not a dedicated password manager like uh, like LastPass or it doesn't, it's not gonna encrypt them at rest like something like IT Glue. Um, but of course, it's eight bucks a month, so it's quite a bit cheaper than IT Glue is, of course. Um, it does have two-factor authentication, and also if you're gonna store passwords, you make sure you lock it down, everything's locked down, and you have at minimum two-factor on. Um, but the cool thing is you can sort, now these columns are customizable, so I added these. I can put whatever data I actually want, okay? So I can add a property and call it whatever. I mean, literally anything is customer nice. And I wanna make this a, a checkbox. And actually, we're gonna call it nice customer and Yes, this customer's, I mean, you can, it's, it's totally customizable, okay? Anything you wanna do is, uh, and then it shows up in that list. There's my thing of nice customer, bad customer. So it's extremely handy. Um, I keep saying that because it is, it's extremely handy. I must've said that a hundred times already. Uh, so you can sort, so let's say this is, this is filled up and you, are going to do a project where you have to see you you're going to log in and change email things around for or migrate to a to a different system at client one so you've got this database of a thousand people in here so if you sort by organization then all your client ones will at least be in a list where you can see them or you can simply go to search and just type client 
one. And then you see where client two disappeared, which is just filtering the, the view basically. So now only client one shows up. Um, or you can search direct by name. Like if I search for Mike, um, just all the mics will show up. So it's the search is fairly robust and seems to work extremely well. Um, but yeah, some of the things that we use it for, tracking MSP renewals such as this, daily to-dos, um, projects. Uh, we do have a, have a home where we have stuff like this um, and a knowledge base, which is pretty handy. Once again, it's all our, our default views are almost always this Trello card view, but you can view it in any kind of way. Um, so, and the other feature that I love are these super quick and easy toggles. Um, so we have a little knowledge base going or if you click in here and you can make a quick relation. You can, you can like add a property and make a relation to, a, to another database. So that goes to client one and then in client one you can actually, so that's going to sit right here under demo organizations. So there's client one. So if I open client one, it's related to, so it's a related back and forth, just like regular relational database, QuickBooks login issue. And I can hit, I can jump or hyperlink to those areas by following these links here, okay? So super quick relational databases, um, quick setups, you can use it for so many things. I think it is a, quite a bit handier than like Evernote and things like that. Um, we have our network diagram up here. I think I already showed you guys this, our LAN info. So yeah, it's very, very, very handy stuff. I suggest everybody at least try it. They do have a free account. Um, oh, I spelled right. So pricing, they have a free account, which limits you to 100 block store, just kind of like 100 items, I guess. Um, personal is only $4 a month. Teams is where you can lock it down and share it with other people in your company, and that's only $8 a month. I'm not sure what Enterprise has, because um, they, they, they want you to chat for details, but there's one level up from that. Um, but even the, the Teams is pretty cost effective compared to a lot of other solutions out there. So. So that's our little demo of Notion.